Race, oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down. I'm grinding on like a holy rail, and I'll hit the slows and go ham. Pray, oh no, I cannot take this slow. I'm grinding on like the holy rail, and I'll hit the slows and go crawl. Yeah, race, oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down. I'm grinding on like the holy rail, and I'll hit the slows and go ham. Yeah, pray, oh no, I cannot take this slow. What is up YouTube, it's me Beck Gameplay here, back with another video. Today we're gonna build a really compact base in Rust, but you only need these materials. 2,600 stone, 2,100 wood, 170 metal fragments, 50 low grade fuel, 50 cloth and one empty propane tank. And the building gather time is only 30 minutes, so this base can be really fast up and working. So place a foundation in three walls as you can see that I'm doing. Now we need a furnace and place that really close to the walls like so now we need a large wooden box and put that in the middle between the left wall and the furnace now remember to check if everything is really as close to the walls as they can get now we need two uh, wooden storage boxes place this one as close as you can get to the furnace and the wall right wall Now we need a sleeping bag so we can respawn in our base. Place it really close to the left and the left wall and the large wooden box at the top. Now you can fit another wooden storage box in the middle between the sleeping bag and the other wooden box. Now we need a doorway. Make sure you can get in and out of that. Now we need a cupboard to protect our area. This is probably the hardest one to place and just spam click it until you find a spot where you can place it and make sure you can get in out of the door. This can be really hard to place. Now we need a L-shaped chair and place it like this. Now we need a wooden storage box more for more storage. You can always um, change this up and delete some of the items if you don't need them but you can place another wooden storage box here and a campfire and make sure you're placing campfire the same time with the same angle that i'm doing right now because else you're not going to be able to access the water purifier you need to be able to see the water water purifier's blue bucket outside of the stair and not behind the stair or in the stair if it's parked now you just need a floor at the top and as you can see, we can access everything and everything is, there's nothing glitching out of the walls and you can just rename your bag to find out what base you're respawning at and make sure you're respawning in the, in the most compact rust base ever. Now we just need to upgrade everything. And in this video, the materials are set for stone. So just upgrade everything for stone if you have gathered the materials listed before. You can always change it up but the materials are set for stone. So you have to add the materials you need um, if you want to upgrade it to, for example, sheet metal. Now we need a door and this door has to open outside. Like open, not make it open outside and not inside because this is just going to be hard to close again. This is a wooden door. You can always make a sheet metal door or an armor door. And remember to use a code lock and not a normal lock. So make sure, so no one uses the good old uh, lock lock uh, glitch hack something where you can get the the lock by generating a lot of another locks so that's the video thank you so much for watching see you in the next bye